Hello and welcome to Heika Chart Clip. I would like to present you the substructure for the element installation. This example is about a project specific substructure or rather a project specific beam for a substructure. The only variable to assign is length. The fitting coordinate system has to be defined for the main assembly. This means that the start point has to be determined for the x direction as well as for the y direction. Such a beam can also be saved in the catalog. Here we see a variant where not only the beam with the fitting coordinate system has been defined but also a variable and the holder which are to be placed with a parametric repetition and a specific formula. Okay, let us have a closer look at this formula in particular. In our example the distance between the holders is determined with the variable length. This variant can then be saved in the catalog, which is basically the same with the tray panels for the element installation. Also here any desired catalogs and tables can be created, which are to be saved in this beam. Okay, we got this now. And in order to test this, we take the top head beam from the catalog. And we enter this in the table. We could try this again with a plain example, which means we create now three graphical elements and divide one element in half, because here also the beam, which will be inserted later, will be divided. Now we select our top head beam and apply it here. And we see that the according partition has been applied where the divided graphical element has been divided before. Fine. Let us now open the main drawing and the project and now we would start the element installation with the configurator. We will choose the a local bond tray panel and similar to the already known the facade and high cut and afterwards we select the sketch for the substructure and insert our beam via the catalog. In this case it is the beam with the holders and now we insert it in high cut and have a look at the elements for the substructure. And now we'll have a look at everything, including the substructure and the element installation. Mm. 
In the next video I will present how element installation and substructure can communicate or rather how they can be connected. Okay, thank you for watching this video. Bye!